episode, we are going to speak about how the exchange traded funds work and who are the key players. Exchange traded funds or ETFs are popular investment vehicles that offer exposure to a wide range of asset classes, sectors, regions, and strategies. ETFs combine the features of mutual funds and stocks, allowing investors to diversify their portfolios, access niche markets, and benefit from low cost and tax efficiency. But how do ETFs work and who are the key players in the ETF industry? In this episode, we will explain the basics of ETFs, the role of authorized participants or APs and market makers and the main ETF providers in the market. ETFs are pooled investment vehicles that hold a basket of securities, such as stocks, bonds, commodities or currencies, that track an underlying index or benchmark. For example, an ETF that tracks the S&P 500 index will hold the 500 stocks that make up the index in proportion to their market capitalization. ETFs trade on stock exchanges during market hours, just like individual stocks. Investors can buy and sell ETF shares through brokers or online platforms, using market orders, limit orders, or other types of orders. Unlike mutual funds, which are priced only once a day at the end of the trading session, ETFs have prices that fluctuate throughout the day based on supply and demand. The price of an ETF share is determined by two factors, the value of the underlying securities, also known as the net asset value or NAV, and the trading activity in the secondary market. Ideally, the price of an ETF should be close to its NAV, reflecting the fair value of its holdings. However, sometimes there may be discrepancies between the price and the NAV, resulting in premiums or discounts. This is where authorized participants, or APs, come in. Authorized participants, or APs, are financial institutions, usually large banks or broker dealers, that have agreement with ETF issuers to create and redeem ETF shares in the primary market. APs play a crucial role in ensuring that ETF prices are aligned with their NAVs and that there is enough liquidity and supply of ETF shares to meet investor demand. APs create new ETF shares when there is more demand than supply in the secondary market, causing the price of the ETF to rise above its NAV. To create new shares, APs buy the underlying securities in the same proportion as the ETF basket and deliver them to the ETF issuer in exchange for an equivalent number of ETF shares. The AP then sells these shares in the secondary market, earning a profit from the difference between the price and the NAV. This process increases the supply of ETF shares and reduces the premium. Conversely, APs redeem existing ETF shares when there is more supply than demand in the secondary market, causing the price of the ETF to fall below its NAV. And to redeem the existing shares, APs buy ETF shares in large blocks, usually 50,000 or more, from the secondary market and deliver them to the ETF issuer in exchange for an equivalent basket of the underlying securities. The AP then sells these securities in the primary market, earning a profit from the difference between the NAV and the price. This process reduces the supply of ETF shares and reduces the discount. APs act on their own behalf or on behalf of other market participants, such as institutional investors or hedge funds. APs are not comp compensated by ETF issuers for their services, but they earn profits from arbitrage opportunities and trading fees. APs also bear some risks, such as market risk, liquidity risk, and operational risk. Market makers, 
a broker dealers that provide liquidity to the secondary market by quoting bid and ask prices for ETF shares. Market makers facilitate trading by matching buyers and sellers of ETF shares on stock exchanges or other platforms. Market makers also earn profits from the spread between bid and ask prices. Market makers are different from authorized participants. Although some institutions may act as both, market makers do not create or redeem ETF shares in the primary market. They only trade existing shares in the secondary market. Market makers also do not need to have an agreement with ETF issuers. They can quote prices for any ETF they choose. Market makers help ensure that there is enough trading volume and price discovery for ETFs, especially for less liquid or niche products. Market makers also help narrow the bid-ask spread for ETFs, reducing transaction costs for the investors. The global ETF industry is dominated by a few large providers that offer a wide range of products across various asset classes, sectors, regions and strategies. According to data from Morningstar, as of December 2023, the top 5 ETF providers by assets under management are BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager and the leader in the ETF space. It offers over 1,000 ETFs under its iShares brand, covering equities, fixed income, commodities, currencies, multi-asset and alternative strategies. Some of its most popular ETFs include iShares Core S&P 500 ETF, iShares Core MSCI EFA ETF and iShares Core US Aggregate Bond ETF. On 11 January 2024, BlackRock launched the iShares Bitcoin Trust, iBit, marking a watershed moment for cryptocurrency adoption. iBit, the first approved spot Bitcoin ETF, allows mainstream investors direct exposure to Bitcoin's price, attracting significant inflows and signaling growing institutional interest. This groundbreaking move by BlackRock undoubtedly solidified Bitcoin's presence in the investment landscape, with long-term implications still unfolding. The second competitor is Vanguard. It's the second largest ETF provider and the pioneer of low-cost index investing. Vanguard offers over 400 ETFs that track various market cap weighted and factor-based indexes. Some of its most popular ETFs include Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF, Vanguard FTSE Developed Market ETF and Vanguard Total Bond Market ETF. The third largest ETF provider is State Street Global Advisors and it is the creator of the first US listed ETF in 1993. State Street offers over 300 ETFs under its SPDR brand covering equities, fixed income, commodities, real estate and sector specific strategies. Some of its most popular ETFs include SPDR, S&P 500 ETF Trust, SPDR Gold Shares and SPDR Bloomberg Barclays High Yield Bond. The fourth largest ETF provider is Invesco and it is the leader in smart beta and thematic investing. Invesco offers over 200 ETFs that track various factor-based, equal-weighted, dividend-focused and niche indexes. Some of its most popular ETFs include Invesco QQQ Trust, Invesco S&P 500 Equal Weight and Invesco Solar ETF. The fifth largest provider, Schwab, and it is the leader in low-cost core investing. Schwab offers over 100 ETFs that track various market cap weighted and fundamental indexes. Some of its most popular ETFs include Schwab US Broad Market ETF, Schwab International Equity ETF and Schwab US Aggregate Bond ETF.
ETFs are versatile and efficient investment vehicles that offer access to a wide range of asset classes, sectors, regions, and strategies. ETFs work through a unique mechanism that involves two markets and two types of players, the primary market and authorized participants, and the secondary market and market makers. These players help to ensure that ETF prices are aligned with their NAFs and that there is enough liquidity and supply of ETF shares to meet investor demand. The global ETF industry is dominated by a few large providers that offer a wide range of products across various asset classes, sectors, regions, and strategies.